One of my favorite topics. The question is, would you take unlimited parental leave if your company offered it? It's a good question. Netflix has started this big debate since announcing to its staff, and now other tech firms are also following along as well. Look at this. Moms and dads working for the online streaming service can take as much paid time off as they want within the first year of the child's birth or adoption. Pretty darn good, I think. Adobe has just announced it will give new mothers up to six months off, and dads four. And Microsoft employees can take five months. Now remember, there is no U.S. law requiring companies to offer any paid parental leave. The question now is, how does the U.S. stack up against other countries around the world? Our very good friend Owen Fairclough has been comparing all of this together. Hi, Owen. Phil, unfortunately, it would be impossible here to compare every country in the world, but Scandinavian and Nordic states are renowned for having some of the most generous legislation for employee leave anywhere in the world, and here's why. Let's take a look at Norway as our case study here. Now, most Norwegians work just under 180 days a year, they get just under 30 days, just under a month of paid holiday. holiday. That includes uh, public holidays as well. That is mandated by the Norwegian government. So that's the minimum you would get. Now, here's where it gets really interesting in Norway. You can have 59 weeks, that's mums and dads between them, of paid maternity and paternity leave over the course of, well, just a little over a year there. That depends on how much you're making, but of course, you pay for all of this in these countries. And we must remember, Norway has the highest income tax rate in the world. There, you're going to pay around 43%. Let's take a look at some of the figures for the US if we compare that. So here in the United States, well, you're going to work around 50 days more in the US than you would in a country like Norway, around 225. As Phil was saying, the government doesn't have to give you any paid holiday here in the United States and it doesn't have to give you any paid maternity or paternity leave. And so we're seeing now these companies, the likes of Netflix, Adobe, Microsoft, stepping in and offering their employees uh, some pretty generous leave. The average income tax, or the amount of income tax many Americans would pay, is around 30%. Of course, there are lots of loopholes and so on. People end up paying a little less, a little more. But of course, there's growing momentum right now in the US for unlimited time off, paternity leave on holidays. You've got the likes of Groupon and Zynga doing that, but it's not just startups as well. General Electric is one of the world's biggest companies, and it has a policy of discretionary leave. You negotiate that with your manager, nearly half of its staff here in the United States take advantage of that. Phil.